Hi everyone, today I want to show you another trick of how to control the text input for uh, your Excel uh, data sheet. So, um, for example, as an HR, often we need to ask our um, clients, our managers, employees, or HR business partners to input some text into a certain table. And then the example I have here is like, for example, the job category. And then um, I think as an HR professional, you, you should be familiar with like the concept of career bands and career levels. So um, usually in a company, you can divide your job into a few categories. Um, the lowest can be um, the support, the business support people, the technical support people. Um, and then the most common level is a professional level. P1 being the ju most junior, like most likely the college um, uh, campus grad, uh, undergrad. And then P6 being the experts or a master um, of a certain field in your company. And then management level are usually M's and the executives being the E's. So very often um, you might be asked to fulfill um, a certain category for your employee. For example, here, um, maybe I want to input the category um, for my certain employee to be P1 or to be P1. Okay, never mind. So that part I need to fix. Got to remove it. So for example, um, we need to, we have a list of employees and then we need to <coughs> fill in or we need to ask our user to fill in uh, the job category for them. And then for example, this person might be P1, um, this person might be P2, this person might be M1, this person might be M2 or M1. So assume that's the job category we want people to fill in. Um, the the thing is like it looks okay except that actually like the norm for the career level is that we want to capitalize the p uh which means that ideally it should be p1 uh capital and p2 um and then if we need to do that for many people the question comes like is there a faster way to do it um that we can cap make sure the p's and m's are all capitalized and then uh we can still uh, control the sanity of the data. Well, I'm going to show you two ways to do it. Uh, one way is using the data validation um, function. So in that case, we need to go to data validation. And then basically you input any value you go to list. And then basically you input any value you allow in this um, cell. So in this case, let's assume that we just need to worry about those four. Um, and I would say, okay. And then you can see a drop down um, bottom here. So this way, when you click, and then you can actually see uh, the uh, P1 or P2, and then you can select, say, M1. And then here you go, you have M1 in your, um, in your job category. And then basically, if we do the same thing, for this and then you just go back to select M2 and here you go you also have that um, so this uh, this <coughs> trick can work for many people um, but then some people still do not like it like for example for me um, when I have an empty cell that I want to fill in I want to be able to input say M1 and then it can automatically correct me to capital M1 but uh, with the data validation, it doesn't allow you to do that. It actually distinguish um, the lowercase and the uppercase. So you actually have to um, capital M and then one, and then you can 
um, make it work. So um, I want to show you another trick here, which is um, auto correction, which is that you actually do not need uh, the data validation. You do not need it, and then basically you just um, um, use a function called auto correction, and then you can change this automatically. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So basically, you go to uh, files, and then you go to options. Uh, the pop in the pop-up window, go to proofing, and then here you have an auto correction option. Go there, and then this is um place where basically you can, based on your input habit, um, putting anything you can commonly input and then replace it to something else that you like. So for example, in our case, um, I want to, I'm defining that, okay, whenever I type in P1, I want to re replace that to capital P1 and I add it. So it goes into my vocabulary there. Okay, so I only made those four changes, and then let's see how it works. Okay, so here, um, yeah, let's say if I, I have in small M2, boom, it comes to big M2, and then when I say small P, and then big P. And let's say if we go to small P, um, it comes to the big P. And then small p two, big p two. So that's the two tricks that um, sometimes I use to uh, first help me to input things faster into the spreadsheet, and second, uh, when I need to ask someone else to input um, information for me, this is my trick to also make them input faster. Um, but also in a more consistent format that later on when they return the spreadsheet, uh, we as an entire professional can work on it um, in a much easier way. I hope this video is helpful to you.